good Raise for is uh, losing a few. But look at this. Ina has trapped Romero hard. Unbelievable. Ina set a trap and a heffalump has stumbled into it. Poor Jonathan Romero making a very gutsy all-in move with the two fives. Can't know that this is the easiest call Simon Ian has ever made. <coughs> Ian has set him up like a bowling pin and just rolled a strike. Limping in with the two queens, Romero took it as weakness, pushed, and it is Jonathan Romero all in right now. Up comes ace. Ten, no four, help there. Eight, ten, five, five, Jonathan eight, Romero eight, played so brilliantly in his heat to get to this final, but it looks like tonight is not his seven. night. Only a five card. now will keep him at the table. Two cards in the deck for Jonathan Romero. Three. That wasn't one of them. Seven, He'll get $7,500 for his efforts. Well deserved. He's a great player, Vicky. Yes, a brilliant uh, performance in yeah, the late night poker race series and his heat yeah, here, but luck was more. not with him on final day. And he's walking. Yeah, I'm definitely disappointed. Um, didn't really play very well today. Maybe fatigue setting in a bit and um, made some questionable plays. And, uh, you know, the, the best players uh, will punish you for that. Lines four and 800 now. That just pips things up a little bit, Vicky. And it puts pressure on Lusk and Trumper, who are really swaggering it out as short stacks. Yes, Simon Trumper has just had to put in 800 in the big blind. That is more than 10% of his chip stack, and he would love to find something to defend it with. So you've got pocket coins. Yeah. Interesting call from Simon Ian. Yeah. Well, Simon Ian has limped with a variety of hands. He flat called with two queens. So, of course, it could look stronger than it is, the limp. And there's a lot of big cards out. Well, yes, Simon Trumper will be very glad to see a free flop with his hand. But look at this for Ken Leonard. Enormous flop. Well, Ken is just praying for someone to take a stab at it. Sure enough, it's his little protege, Simon Ian, putting some chips in. A flat call, I suppose, here, Jesse. Yeah. There it is. Ken is so reluctant Pass. to separate that purple chip from his stack. Methinks Ina ain't buying it. Pass. But we'll see what the turn brings. Yeah, well, ten of spades will be an interesting card. Yeah. Jesse May has just said Swede on Swede Two action. <laughs> and everybody's rushing out to Check. buy the video. Check. <laughs> 3,000. <coughs> I mean, the only reason that, that Ian is sitting here thinking about it, Vicky, is because it's like he knows that she knows that he knows. Exactly right. But in the end, he's made the correct decision. Ken Leonard will win a nice pot with his three queens, but not as much as he hoped for. Simon Ian is a sweet, so obviously I helped him with some tips about the other pros. And um, he's got a great confidence, like all the young kids who haven't been slapped around enough yet. Uh, I have a feeling he's going to attack me because I think I'm his role model and now he want to prove that he can beat me too. So I'll be watching out for him. Trumper on the button. First to speak will be Simon Iana, the Swede. 18 years old and a handful of talent. Well, now that the blinds are 6-12, Marcel Lusk on the small blind has had to put in a large percentage of his stack. Okay, boys, I've found another hand, it's all going in. I mean, one thing that this has created is Barney Boatman, who's in the big blind, he's down to about 10 big blinds too. So all of a sudden, Barney's starting to feel like he might be under pressure. <laughs> Lusk has announced all in. Well, of course, and this can be any two cards, as Barney Boatman knows perfectly well. Quick call from Barney Boatman. That doesn't bode well for Marcel unless he finds something big. Just for one second. And uh, Boatman with the ace nine. I don't know what Marcel has yet. Oh, king eight. Well, he's got live cards, but this is trouble for Marcel. Yes, I mean, actually, Jesse, there's not that much in it. Marcel Lusk is going out here, or he is going to double up and leave Boatman in the dangerous state. He Up still has seven, chances, four, but with six, that flush draw for Boatman now, Barney it's a red five high, that Marcel six. Lusk is playing for. A spade would end Lusk's tournament. 
six. Oh, that's changed nothing. Has six, to be a five, eight, an or, eight, uh, or a, five, or a five, king. Or a that's not a spade. Or a king. Let's see the last card. It's a nine. No help for him. And Barney no Boatman has just six, eliminated six, Marcel Lusk, hard. the Flying so Dutchman. Just never seemed to be able to find any cards in the right spots. It was not Marcel Lusk's night. He was singing to begin with, but the chorus turned sour. He had to move all in there, but he is shipping the chips over to Boatman and walking away. Happy, disappointed. It's always uh, nice to stay in a competition and then try to get up. And when you go down low step, then you need to find a hand, so you make a decision. You walk into a hand and you still have a hope to hit something. And uh, they play good, so uh, there's enough game to play. And you just hope not to get unlucky. So down to five, and the serious prize money is into view. Next person knocked out will get 15,000. And of course, 100,000 for first place and 50 for second. Raised to 28. Simon Trumper will have to double up if he wants one of those two spots. Well, what a borderline decision he has here. He could come over the top of Ken Leonard with the twos, but of course... If he gets a call, then he is at best even money or just below. So it's not a great hand to do it with. I guess it all just comes down to Vicky if he thinks he has enough chips to make Ken Leonard lay down the kind of holding that Ken has. He's just called. Well, this is very interesting, the flat call. It could be a stop go. Simon Trumper will have the first opportunity to bet after the flop. I think Barney Boatman is going to pass here. He's got a bit of maths to do, but I think he's going to let it go. Pass. Yeah, right you are, Vicky. He did let Come it on, go. Stevie. And <laughs> I don't know what Trumper's plans are here, Vicky. I mean, obviously, if he gets a two, he'll check, but is he just hoping the ace doesn't come? I'm watching you, watching me, watching the floor. Yeah. Well, he may players. be planning to bet out on any flop, but That's if he does it check. now, it would be suicide. Oh! It's a psychic check. Ken Leonard's flop two pair. Check it to see if you got the ace of clubs. And surely. if Simon Trumper had moved on that flop, he'd be already up here joining you in the commentary box. Yeah, I mean, even though Ken Leonard has a huge yeah, flop does. two pair, he has to protect it, doesn't he? Because there are three Put clubs on, on board, I guess. Oh, God, I hate this game. Put your ice cube. And it's time to fold. Yeah, I can only beat a bluff. Maybe I'm still winning. Uh, if I'm still winning, you've got two life cards with a flush draw. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, eight. Don't feel like gambling. Pass. Well, that yeah, cautious one. play has served Simon Trumper very well. As it happens, an all-in move pre-flop would have scared off Ken. But once the flop has come down, Trumper <coughs> does very well not to bet it. There was a, there was a good chance you had one. Well. Come the, the cards. Oh. David Ty oh, will be no, first I to speak, done. and if he doesn't, yeah, I think Simon that. Trumper is really going to have to move. Like seven, eight, yeah, Trumper down to this one or the next one. Well, look at this. With the king-queen, there is no doubt in my mind that Simon Trumper is going to put all his chips over the line. All in. He's squeezing He's them. In. All in, he says. You could just imagine his heart went pitter-patter. He looked at the king and then squeezed the next face card. And, <laughs> and well, he certainly it's knows he's got the worst four. hand. It's just a case of whether he's priced in to knock out his opponent. You know, he's got two fresh cards. He'll Let's be left with more than 20,000 if he does call and lose. Does Let's he go. want to knock out Simon Trumper or does he want to avoid the double-up? You've only got one card that's live. <coughs> How you reckon? Because I know what your hand is. What is my hand? King nine. Scary. You're hoping you've got two live cards. You haven't got two live cards. So you haven't got the odds to call. It's 3,500. He's doing it, Jesse. And Ken pretty much saying he would call with any two, because that's exactly what he has. Trumper would have been delighted to win those blinds without <coughs> having to go.